Oh God, do they know I live in one room? If you were listening to my show, I said I had two hours to get out of London and get to a party here. I don't, I have no idea where I am, but isn't this amazing? Look. There's my little car with the boot up. I made it. Thank you, Disco Matt. I actually made it. This is a party for a friend of mine. We were dancers together. I haven't seen her for ages. Her daughter is holding this lunch. I actually got here. I took completely the wrong turning. I came on the M4. Gosh, that sun. I came on the M4 instead of the M40. How's the hair looking? Because she hasn't seen me with my hair like this. And this is glorious. It's the day of England playing Sweden. So, um... So, I don't know why I said that, but there we go. By the time you see this, you'll know the outcome of that. And I'm heading in, up this drive. And I will see you at the party. I'm certainly not going to walk in brandishing this, but this is idyllic, isn't it? I better put the boot down. Feeling a bit hot. I should have worn shorts, but I don't know if it's very dressy. So here we go. I'm heading in. I'm still on the drive. I haven't even got there yet. I'm on the drive, would you believe? Imagine mowing these lawns. Hello. Hello. Um, I'm here for the Dower House. Yes, absolutely. So, you see where the big pillar is in front of you? Straight ahead down there. It is the house just before that. Right. Can you tell me what the time is? The time is... 12.02. Oh my goodness, I was meant to be there at midday. I'm only two minutes late. Thank you, thank you. So, just have a look at this view, which is unbelievable. This is amazing. Beautiful Hannah. This is Digby. I never waste an opportunity. Barry, you taught me this. This is Barry, who taught me everything about filming. This is the birthday girl. This is Lynn. And this is Digby. Digby. And, this is, oh, and I'm not allowed to film children, I don't think, am I? Oh, Without, oh can, I can. You'll be all right. Where's beautiful Phoebe? This is beautiful Phoebe. Phoebe. And this, yes, <laughs> this will all be streamed live. Oh, and this is the most, <laughs> you'll have to sign a release. <laughs> and now have a look at this wonderful, wonderful table. So this is like a French film. Look at this. Just look how beautiful this is. This is stunning. Absolutely stunning. I've had quite a lot to drink actually, which is... <laughs> this is Adam. <laughs> I really have had far too much to drink and um, I don't know, I suppose I'll drink myself so... I don't, yeah, I'll drink water and get sober, but just how look how stunning. This is so... This is like some extraordinary movie. This is like some really arty French film. Um, oh, look at this. So this family is like my surrogate family. I have known this family. Susie, how long have we known each other? Uh, since about... Um 1971. So we've known each other 37 years. Yes, maybe um, we've, even longer. Maybe longer. And do you remember the opening scene? Do you remember the front cloth ballet, Susie? That's what we met. Oh, which yes. was part of Basque, part of Basque. Then I went up over the shoulder. Then up over the shoulder. And Susie was Mother Mermaid. And I was, um, I was, Ron Moody used to say, get that white bait off the rock. Because I was so small. That's right. And, and Jo would make me laugh. She would stick her head out from underneath the rock and corpse me and it was really unfair. And were you head girl? Were you head girl? No, ballet, ballet captain? No, I wasn't ballet captain, no. I, I played Mrs. Darling. But This I was, is I was, her beautiful daughter. This is her beautiful daughter. Yeah. Now, I knew <laughs> Lizzie when she was one day old. One day old. In I've a, grown a bit. In an incubator. In an incubator. And my ex-husband used to shake her foot, do you remember? Yes. Oh, yes. To get her to breathe. <laughs> I mean, this is a beautiful ballet dancer, yeah, you will have seen. This is what we wanted oh, yes, to be. Yes, 
and she is the real thing. It. We never made it. Um, and that is beautiful Hannah, who is a what was a prima ballerina, it, danced with Matthew Bourne, born. Yes, and, and never had to do panto with Ron no, Moody like no. you and I. <laughs> Exactly. Really, to be quite no, honest. Exactly. But we're still here. We're still here. And look, we still have the perfect turnout. Well. <laughs> and we're not even going to say how old Susie is because no. she defies, doesn't she? But there are people, there are other people who are stuck on the M25. They are. Who they, are a surprise. They are a surprise, but I've, I've sort of worked out the surprise. She has worked And out. I'm really, really thrilled and I'm very sorry because it's so hot. It's so hot. They're Can you imagine cooking. somebody, somebody lives, look at that tower. Isn't it lovely? It's a real... This is just, isn't it? This is, if I'd made a success of my life, this is where I've wanted to live. <laughs> and Lynn, what was the journey like from Brighton? Oh, um, typical sort of, you know, Henley Regatta come Hampton yes. Court, Court flower show traffic. I yeah, think it was alright. That sort of thing. But it moved. I was saying, Lynn, this looks like a Fellini film. Just have a look yes. around there. It does. <laughs> Isn't it? Yes. There's things hanging in the trees. Where I'm going to turn this off. Table? I don't know, but Susie, I think you and I ought to line our stomachs because we've taken too so. much liquid. We have indeed. It's, it's been great. Really This Spode is, um, this family introduced me to Spode. I never really knew what Spode was. And then um, they had numbered Spode and I just thought this was beautiful. So, this is beautiful. Look at this. Beautiful flowers, sweet peas. Look at this. Are you proud of your daughter? I am so proud of Are you proud of your daughter? Yes. Look, I swear on the Holy Bible. It's really paid off this. <laughs> this is a oh yeah, all over this has got three and a half thousand followers are going to be looking at this. Oh, Give us a thumbs up for heaven's sake. They'll all want to know who in the house. <laughs> no, no, they'll say, I recognise that face. We're just waiting for somebody yeah. from my mother yeah. and my brother. I can't and believe what? Moppy is on the way. How old's Mops? Oh. Mops is, is 94 and a half. <laughs> She's a year older than my mother. We knew, we always wanted to get our mothers together. Yeah, we did. We, we Both did. of them, Moppy and Mushy in stereo. Oh, it would be hysterical. <laughs> 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 so Phoebe's cracking on. What do you want, Woods? The, the pink roses. Yes. And the orange roses under the window. What do you want? And the hosta. If you can photograph, photograph them. Photograph them. For them for me. Okay. Yeah, because they'd be good to send to my friend. I'll show her the photo of her. Okay, I will do. All right. All right, I'll do that. Have you had your breakfast? Yeah, I'm just having my coffee now. Okay, all right. <laughs> so, um, this is the rose. This is the hostas. What was the other one? This and this one. Is that right? Yeah, that, that's okay. That's fine. And you should be interested to see how they've grown. So oh right. You gave me them. You oh know. right. Okay, I'll do Good that. Idea, right? Who gave them to you? Pardon? Who gave them to I you? I did one. Oh right. Yeah. yeah lovely. Okay. I'm now back at my mum's. I'm just, I've stayed here the night before I go off to the next party. And the next party is, do you remember um, I did a whole piece, sorry about the plaits, uh, I did a whole piece about meeting up with my ex-boyfriend. Well, it's his birthday party that I'm going to today in, um, I don't know, it's in, I think it's in a friend's house, but it's back in Oxford. I just came back here to see my mum, um, have a good night's sleep, put my plaits in and uh, and so now I'm going off to Oxford and I'll probably then go and collect Matilda after that party but uh, it's a weekend of um, summer entertainment and what's really nice is this weather has been amazing so uh, yeah I'm gonna head off look at this tree I used to climb that when I was a teenager it's Buddhas everywhere
and also my cat I had a cat called Flossie when I lived in Brighton and then um, when I moved back to London I gave my mum Flossie she looked after Flossie and Flossie passed away a couple of months ago and we made a little grave for her this is her That's Flossie's grave. Anyway, I'll go and take the plaques out and head back up the, is it the M40, A40? Gosh, it's lovely. That's like the magic faraway tree up there. Hello. Oh, what is that? I don't know. I hope you're keeping up with all of this. I'm now, um, I'm about to go into that bush and change into my party clothes for the next party. I've just met this lovely horse and I don't know. It looks like ice, but is it not ice? I don't know, leave a comment if anyone knows what this horse is licking, but I love him. Hello, hello. He's now going to watch me getting changed. I'm getting changed because I didn't want to drive after all. I'm on my way to this second party of the weekend and I'm wearing um, a long dress, which I didn't want to drive in. So I am literally going to go and change in this hedge. I thought there'd be a service station, but there's not. Hello. So hot. Look at the horse having a good drink. I actually don't think the plats have done. I'll tell you something, I won't be taking you in into this party because it's gonna be full of actors and things and politicians and I actually don't think I can be filming in there. Yesterday was very much a sort of family, not my family but my friend's family. This is more swish, so I certainly can't go in with this camera. I can hear car doors. I'm wondering if everyone's got the same thought, everyone's gonna change into this bush, into the, what's the matter? That horse is getting cross. Oh gosh, people are turning up. Right, I'm gonna to have to quickly change before everyone gets the same idea. Only this horse has been watching. I've just thought all of this could be on CCTV and everyone at the party has just watched this. I'll turn it off now. I'm literally not kidding. We're still driving down the lane to this house. Oh, next to the red post box. There's the red post box. Oh, blimey. Oh, blimey. This is it. Oh God. Oh God, someone's waiting for me. I'm gonna have to keep going now. I have to keep going after all this time. My dress is gonna be, my dress is gonna be so creased. Thank you. Thank you. Best to be polite in these areas. Oh God, do they know I live in one room? So, Lord, I've had quite a big dinner and now I'm going down to the lake to swim. This is amazing. It's been a wonderful, wonderful day and they're wonderful people. And look at this. And I'm determined to get in there, but I've eaten the biggest ever dinner. There's a bathing hut. Oh, wow. Oh, here's a bathing hat. I'm going to turn this off. Wow. This is amazing. Okay. This is the changing hut. There's loads of towels. I've got to put my two piece on. Wish me luck. So I'm here with this amazing girl I've been watching for ages on the screen. I'm not going to tell you. Please tell her your name. Um, it's Sarah Griffiths and I'm here with Joe Good. She's not called Joe Good she, for no reason. But no she's amazing. Reason. She's amazing. We've only just met here and I'm sitting here like, like a granny in a two-piece. Robin's just gone in. Look at that. Look at that. The Adonis. He is an Adonis. He's an Adonis. And this is Robin's birthday that we're all at. And we are... This is a cabin. Can you believe? Isn't it? I feel like we're Scandinavia, Joe. I know. We somewhere. could be Scandinavia. Well... Sarah could be Scandinavian, I couldn't. No, but um, who's actually got the swimsuit on looking stunning? Now, 
Everybody must listen to Sarah's show. Go on, where is it? Oh, Joe, bless you. Well, it's called the Universal Soul Show, and it is on women's radio station. You can follow us on Twitter at Universal Soul SH. It's on at nine in the morning and nine in the evening um, every day of the week. That was amazing. That was literally the best party. I think the best party I've ever been to. I feel so relaxed. I feel ready to go back to London. And when you swim in fresh water like that, I haven't had a shower, I have no chlorine. I'm gonna go and collect Matilda and head back down the M40. And this has been like such a great weekend. I've had such a good time. I've no idea what the time is. I think it's about 10 o'clock on Sunday night. But, um, oh, I feel like I've been away. Look at those pine trees. Oh, wow. Amazing. And, um, Oh, I feel wonderful.